Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm taking a little break from Deep Rock Galactic to look at a new game that just launched into Early Access recently, Gunfire Reborn. This is a roguelike style, loot based, dungeon crawling game. It's kind of hard to describe, but the best way I can explain it quickly is Borderlands meets Risk of Rain. Now it's selling the game short to describe it as just that, so I'll actually show off some gameplay, including my first actual successful run of this game. Now this took me about 10 to 11 hours at this point before I actually got a successful run, which is a testament to either how bad I am or how hard this game is. It's definitely not easy, but once you get some good unlocks, it can be more doable. That and you unlock an even harder mode once you beat the game the first time. But, if you haven't seen anything on this game, I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope it convinces you to pick it up, because this seems like a great early access game, just like Deep Rock Galactic, that's getting constant support from its devs, and has a very vibrant community. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, I'm just gonna cap these, save the rest, try to get a... Peddler upgrades next run. Message real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Holy hell. <laughs> oh, that's a joke of a start. That's gonna be bad in like 10 seconds. Starting out with busted weapons, so much fun. Reload, decay, okay. Oh, who's living? It was you. Let's go elemental this run, see what happens. I'm gonna try to do fire and corrosive, I think. would be best. That's what I used to do when I first started out, but now that I have a little bit more experience, I wanna see what happens. see if he'd burn himself to death. Wow, I actually took damage from that. Okay, looking for prism now. Need a different ammo type. That's what I said. I'm already like, ooh, energy orb. That's fun. Shouldn't have done that. Really should have taken the vault first. So my thinking is, if you take a vault first, ooh, let me run this vault first. See if I can get curse immunity by chance. Wow! 
Holy crap. That's a hell of a find right there. I will take that. So if I can get curse immunity, which I always seem to from these damn things, then I oh I actually have to care for once, fuck. If I can get curse immunity, I can get real powerful. That's not quite what I was looking for. But since I'm going to run fire, I'll stick with it. Or I'll take it. Yeah, I'm not going to do curse. I'm just going to lose health. Man, if I could read, that'd be sick. Didn't know what that was. It's that thing. Okay. Move speed. That's good. That way if I take the corrosion aspect, it won't slow my shit down. Too badly, at least. I kind of interrupted myself, but uh, the reason I take vaults before I finish the room is because you can potentially get, you know, stuff that affects gold and ammo packs. So, obviously, if you get one of those items in here, but you've already picked up all the gold outside the room, you've missed out gold and ammo packs outside of the room. You've missed out on some of the potential benefit. So, like, healing, for instance. It's like if I cleared that room out there already and I got the legendary healing when you pick up money that would suck and also like this I now I regen health when I kill elemental afflicted enemies which not as useful as what I, the scenario I described but still now I have an opportunity to gain health from these guys all right this thing is pretty busted too bad it's a little short on a uh, inscriptions Should be able to carry me for the time being, though. Yeah, maybe, just maybe it can. Damn, that was dangerous. Oh, there's prison. knock Lulu down there. Hopefully my weapons won't get too out scale. Might actually upgrade these. If I could get... Once this thing gets pushed out, if I could get a sharpshooter, that'd be great. I don't really know the name of this weapon. Frenzied Shark. Solid. I'm not very good at using this one, but it is it does seem very powerful if you're skilled. It's the only Lu Wu achievement I have left is a 10 second kill, which I still don't think this build is going to be able to pull that, but. I really am not too worried about it yet, because obviously I'm not as powerful as I can be with all the uh, ascension stuff. This thing is ridiculous though. Just one shotting absolutely everything. And that scroll's working pretty good with Prism. Overall, feeling pretty powerful right now, just. It's always a matter of keeping it going. As soon as I drop this prism, then I'm weaker. This thing's gonna go out soon. <laughs> I say that, but I'll hold on to it as long as I can with this. 
Yeah. I mean, there's no negative, but. If I could make that work. It's just there's no safe way to reduce your health other than chests, and they're so rare. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna throw... Yeah, I'm gonna do both. Just for a little bit extra power. Should be okay though. ammo consumption. That would have been a good candidate build for a uh, no hit if I didn't have it after last time. Oh, that's, that's pretty solid. Get out of here, shotgun. Oh no, looks like I have no chance but to, or no choice but to take orb. What a shame. I love orb. Hmm. Should probably take a different weapon, but I'm gonna risk it. I do not remember how much soul essence I was trying to get either. That's still pretty good. I didn't know legendary properties could spawn that early on. Or legendary inscriptions, I guess, sorry. Poor guy. Yeah, if I could get sharpshooter on this, I'd be set. Now I just need to keep finding prisms. So we are rolling right now. Who is here? What are you doing out there? Lizard? Get out of the waste. What are you doing? Lizards are cheating. This has been really good enemy RNG now. Nothing... Sorry, so far. Nothing really absurd. Three flamethrower guys charging me out of nowhere. Easy jumps. I'm sure I could, there's probably a way to do this without stopping. Just not sure how. Ooh, that's tempting. I've got too many grenades, I'm just gonna go with that. Honestly, these movement items are so necessary. There we go, that's pretty good. Damn it. Guess I can just go out the way I came in.
honestly considering upgrading this thing again. It only has two properties and it's so strong. God, that is absurd. That's the thing is, is the meta isn't developed for this game yet. I really, I don't have any guidance for whether or not keeping on this thing would, is a good idea. I'm gonna do it. Just kind of see where it takes me. Is that the same roll? Yeah, so that's the same blue. But this one has the double projectile, so it's way better. I guess rare inscription, not blue. Still, still learning exactly how these things work. There we go. If I can keep a hold of a good corrosive weapon, I can pretty much dominate Ichthyosaur this time. Good revenge for last time. This would be a good chance to test out whether or not re-rolling uh, adds any inscriptions. I guess I could just upgrade one. I don't need... Is that all I have on this? Yeah, it's not even that good. Might as well upgrade one. Damage minus accuracy. Still pretty good. So I went from plus accuracy to minus accuracy. Come up with it. Ooh. I haven't seen that before. If only elites weren't so sodding rare. Yeah, that accuracy is a placebo. I'm missing everything now. Hey, hold still. Yeah, I was supposed to be dodging him. I jumped just to get hit by that. Good. He was doing some pretty stupid damage, though. If I could get Sharpshooter, it would completely rule, rule this thing out, and I could stop carrying it. Get out of my face, Jesus. Try how to play the game for a second. It doesn't seem to have become less accurate, it just seemed to have shifted the, the crosshair to the right slightly. Or the crosshair moved to the left of where I'm actually shooting. Oh god. Weird. It's like the aim only deviated in one direction. Give Berserk Soul. Oh, that's pretty tempting. I also. Yeah, I could keep Berserk Soul and it could get stronger. Give me that. Uh, chance to not consume ammo. Not very good. Jesus, why there so many of you? Basically, that scroll just gives 30, 33% more ammo, statistically speaking. So, Considering there's one that's a le level of rarity lower that uh, increases ammo by 100%, it's not very good. Kind of disappointing. 
Enemies in center of gravity. Odd. Oh, uh, so I guess I, that would work with other weapons too. That's. That would probably be a good idea to take. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this out. Not very good, but it drags the level foundry up, so I'll take it. Plus, I'll be able to finally stop wasting my money on upgrading that other thing, because I'm stubborn. Crit. Decay. Not great. Not too good, either. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to hold on to this one a little longer. Ooh, you guys are gonna be a problem, aren't you? Whew. Come on. Just don't be difficult. Love it. <laughs> Can carry that with him? Okay. Interesting. And there's a new prison as soon as I upgraded mine. Fuck off, game. Oh my god, is that instant kill? It is. Oh, it's worse in a lot of other ways, though. Damn. That's really hard to justify. Give it a try, though. If this run fails, I'm going to blame it on that decision right there. I mean, it's, it's going to be great for mobbing. I'm just thinking about Ichthyosaur. Hear this thing is good. Let's see what this thing is all about. Jesus. That is slow and strong. little bit too slow to be good. Oh, hey, look at this. Holy hell. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, and it works with... Okay. Yep, I'm gonna have to keep this thing with me now. Please be good. That's not good. If I could get Sharpshooter, it would help me out a lot. Right, I've got something really weird going on right now. I don't know if this is going to pay off for me. jump. Alright, I'm gonna... This thing is really good. Like, it was really good. And those are really good rolls. 
I'm gonna have to drag this thing with me for pretty much the rest of the run. Oh god. Force choice, I'll take it. That is gonna be pretty good. Okay, I got a lot of stuff coming together here for me. But this isn't gonna be easy. I already had that. Well, I have no money. I don't have bluff, do I? No, I don't. So if anything, I should be below max health. Ideally, I'd be at 1% health. I mean, that's probably going to end up getting me killed, and I'm more powerful when my shield's recharging, so closer to death I am. I'm pretty fucking strong right now. So if I can manage to get hit with... I'm not going to try to get hit, but if I do get hit without dying, it'd be pretty good for me. It's going to be really hard to actually line up shots with this in this phase, though. In the tail phase, it'll be very easy. If I can make it to the tail phase, I'll probably win. Pretty much guaranteed at this point. My shield is recharging is when I'm strongest. So I was trying to intentionally take some damage from the decay there. Alright, he's gonna hit me no matter what. Or not hit me, but appear on me. Now he's actually gonna start. Okay. That's always scary for me. bit of damage. Oh no, it's only when it's recharging, not when it's damaged, duh. Oh, I'm actually out of range of that, I think. Didn't know that was possible. So I feel like I definitely should have been hit by that. I think my timing was bad. this thing. Okay, crit. That's really good. So is it additive or taking the highest number? So I might have to replace prism with that. I'm gonna have to get rid of this thing anyway, so I'll get rid of. Oh, fuck, that sucks. Cause this thing doesn't have any crit. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to trade that. Or, damn. 
That is a tricky one. It's just got good corrosion too. Yeah, I'm just gonna trade this and deal with consequences. Ideally, I mean in a perfect world I'll find another prism that has a Gemini and I can just start re-rolling it. But until then, it's kinda SOL. Hang of this thing in this run. Oh, that is not very good yet. And that insta kill headshot is really hard to pass up. I do not know. Oh, hello. I found this spore thing to be very good. So I'm gonna trade. This thing is worthless to me. And it doesn't have very good crit on it, so. I'm just gonna forget that Gemini and move on to this one. I find the spore one to be very good. So I'm gonna have to replace this prism at some point, but it's the only thing keeping me alive right now. So I've gotta hold on to it. to kill headshots the only source of damage I have so this is getting very concerning I don't think octopus counts as a normal enemy so I don't think I can insta kill him All these bonus corrosive clouds are definitely helping out though. I'm just gonna save my money for reforging Geminis. That could have killed me. Okay, once this fight's over, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab that Gemini, that shotgun with the Gemini, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try to reroll it. enemies to spawn before I get much further. anything in this range with that. Okay. I got a lot of micro I can do here. That I have to do, really. I should take this. I hopefully won't need that. I think I got a bunch of buns off of those guys, so... Don't have to worry about my health for now. Got a little dicey. Alright, I'm gonna leave the prison there. Go back. I'm gonna just see if I can reroll this into something good. So, which one do I reroll though? I'm 
just gonna have to go back to prison for now. Try to work this thing in when I can. Because weapon sharing damage type isn't really gonna save me right now. Still doing decent damage, but just anything else I could get would be better. Look at that. I'm very concerned it's going to be an elite counter if I go into that vault. Okay, white sharks count as norm normal enemies though, that's weird. Maybe I was just getting extremely unlucky on the uh, octopus. Can I hit this guy? Nope. Normally I'd hit a vault before I clear an area, but I'm doing it for the opposite reason this time. I feel like I need whatever I'm going to get from this area to clear that vault. So I don't know why these enemies aren't aggroing right now. It's definitely helping me out. Okay, there's that. If I can get that money, I don't think I can. Probably going to have to backtrack the whole level to pull that one off. Mmm, fuck. I need to run this vault. That's what needs to happen. There's always the possibility I could get the uh, free peddler item out of it. Because uh, that would be the perfect weapon to replace this with, too, because it would hold my corrosive. Uh, it's going to be so tragic if I can't afford it. Oh boy, here we go. Look, it's the place I died last time. Also, these guys are scary as hell. Because they just teleport in front of you and do damage by being near you. Doesn't seem very fair. Obviously you can get out of their range, but... Not easily. But you guys need to get out of here. Thankfully I think I have the, uh, the ammo region scroll still. So that's keeping me alive. Ooh, that was close. That guy has a lot of health. Not him, the elite. Maybe this is just how little damage my prism is doing. I just never noticed because I have the insta kill. Okay. If you're pretty fast with that, you can't actually get through your shield. That's good to know. Okay. Holy hell. I got pretty. Oh my god. That is amazing. Holy crap. Okay, but I need to reroll this Gemini because that's a horrible Gemini for Prism because it'll break the 50% uh, damage bonus. Okay, this I got something here now. Holy hell. Okay, I don't need to afford that uh, acid anymore, and I have enough to reroll this if I can find a blacksmith. I don't remember if there was one on this map. I'm gonna go run back and see, because I can get this in line with any other weapon other than the mag thing. Honestly, I will be in the go in the green. I might be able to actually win this run. That'd be my first actual win. No, this is where I spawned. Okay. I just need to press on and hope for a blacksmith. Okay, this just got very real. 
so I could actually potentially win this. I've only gone up against the final boss once and I died so quickly I didn't even get a chance to learn how it worked. So, what's this? Ooh, I don't want this though. So how would this work though? Yeah, so I got 40 kunai. 69 kunai. I just, it's not good. Because then I lose that, if nothing else I lose the 50, how fast can I shoot this? Yeah, it's no faster. It might be a little bit, but not enough to lose 50% damage bonus. Do you have anything else? No, you don't. Okay. Blacksmith is the major target right now. This doesn't have the insta-kill, so it's going to be a little bit weaker. But it's going to be way better against any tough enemies, like bosses anyways, so it's a net win. Actually, it probably is faster even without insta-kill. I just hadn't spun it up yet. I just need to not get killed by these things. Or that. So far, White Shark is one of the, the most threatening enemies I've encountered. I think I've encountered every enemy in the game now. But those things are absolutely vicious. Fucking Roadhog. how agile those things are. Oh, there's just a dude up there. What the hell? It must be like a fixed spawn or something, because I think he was out of the map. Okay. Oh, there's a blacksmith. Okay. I'm re-rolling this one. I think I want to keep that and re-roll the other one now. That's probably going to be the best way to go. And look for a weapon with uh, either that... Yeah, I'm going to look for a weapon with better crit chance. Because I don't think this thing can even possibly roll a crit. I'm running out of levels to do this, though. That'll help. Okay. bulky for a second. They definitely are. Just gotta hit those crits. I don't even have a sharpshooter right now. It's feeling like this. Um, do I ch No, I need the money. Never mind. The chance of getting a curse scroll right now alone is enough to almost determine if I don't get a perfect weapon I need to reroll. do not have the money to spare. Hello, crab. I think I need to kill him with fire for an unlock. This is really risky to be doing right now, but I'm gonna... This level is absurd. It's out in the open. Okay, that was new. Are you is he invincible? 
Are you kidding me? Wow. Talk about cheap shots. Fuck you. This lobster's gonna keep me at range. I really don't want to have a range fight with these bastards. Nothing, okay. If I died to an exploding lantern trying to get unlocks, that'd be fucking retarded. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wait, what am I looking at here? Shouldn't this be showing purple? That is really pretty good. Yep, okay, there we go. Um, I don't think that's gonna help right now. Just anything around here I've crit on it. This one does, okay. Uh, if I find a blacksmith, I'll come back for that, try to reroll it. If nothing else, I'll take the bow. But I don't know if the bow is actually going to provide me any sort of benefit right now. I mean, it'll benefit the bow, but I'm not going to be using it. over there. Oh, the crabs have a projectile. I thought they were just like fodder enemies. Focusing in right now. It's getting kind of, kind of close. Is there even a crit spot on that damn thing? These, why, that's why those damn archers are so scary. Is because they can pin you to like, whenever they hit you, they can make you immobile. I'm gonna go back for that shotgun now. See what I get out of this stuff. Uh, that might be good because I don't think I'll be able to freeze the final boss, but I'm gonna take this for more damage resistance so I can throw more of them. Oh, not again. I feel like I got lucky last time. Probably should have grabbed the shotgun first, assuming this was going to be like this, but you're right. That's kind of comforting. My bow's better, bitch. That's throwing a lot of shit at me right now. White shark is definitely the most threatening though. Oh, it's this guy. And of course there's another white shark. There's that attack, that like thrown sword swipe. Okay. Holy hell. That's nothing to look at right now. Wait, does that have crit? No it doesn't. Okay. Worth it. Worth it. Not like I have a choice, but... Like I said, I haven't played the final boss enough to know if killing enemies is actually going to be beneficial. 
All right, time to run back for that shotgun. Put the two rerolls into it. I have plenty of ammo. I'm full health. I'm not going to need to buy anything on the inside. I think chancing it for 40% crit is going to be worth not buying any scroll that the peddler in there has to sell. Give. There. This does have crit. Yes, it does. Okay. Stop carrying the heavy weapon so I can actually move faster. You know, I, don't, I want this Gemini to be good, mainly so I don't have to walk back, not just for more damage. <sighs> the fact that I could actually win this is kind of crazy. Come on. Nope. Nope. Okay. Now we haul back. <laughs> I don't think I've died on this run either. Can't remember to be honest. So I do have 16 grenades. That's pretty good. So I can use those for damage resistance. I'm gonna take one last look through all my scrolls and stuff before I actually step in there so make sure I'm not forgetting any like critical gameplay stuff that I should be doing. Was I not dashing that whole time? Man, I'm smart. That's all I can possibly do to make myself stronger. So from what I could tell from last time, I need to break the cannons before I can do anything to him. And I said I lacked a cannonball. So I don't think... Maybe that's like an insta-kill mechanic you can do. Uh, probably wouldn't be useful anyways. I'm not too sad I missed out. Alright. No time like the present, I guess. Actively gonna have to learn. Oh, hey, okay. Holy shit. Okay, that's a that's a boss mechanic then. Okay, so that takes the shield down. So it's kind of like a bullet hell. They are actually shooting at me, not just shooting the arena. So strafing is gonna be good here. Some of them seem to fan, though. Okay. Now there's going to be another big boy somewhere. There he is. And some little ones. They seem to be targeting me with those rows, not just going randomly. Yep. Holy shit. Give me that shield back. I need it. Did I just... Is that it? Holy shit. Oh no, no, okay. No, no way. It would never be that easy. Oh, that's not fair. What the hell? Okay, mortar fire. Oh, that's a that's a big radius. I'm surprised that didn't hit me. Okay, immune. Bigger cannon fire or mortar fire now. And it seems to be, to be less uh, of an accurate spread. Oh, hello. Okay, so it's like quadrants. Give me that. Oh, okay, so it's more constant now. Gotta keep moving.
That is a huge radius. Holy hell. Whew. That's pretty good. And laser glove. Damn. This thing's actually really good too, because it it's a laser glove that has lucky shot. That's that's just a roll though. Holy shit. So is this loop now or I'm tempted to take this thing, but is there like a final final boss I'm gonna get <laughs> killed by? Fuck it, I'll, I'll, I'll go grab it. Just cause it's new. Nope, it's done. Holy hell. Alright. Well, it only took 12 hours of play to win one. Whew. Damn. I want this. So I should probably keep getting cheap stuff. God damn. Uh, hands are fucking shaking after that one. Holy shit. I should probably definitely need this. That'll make future runs better. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this look at Gunfire Reborn, and I hope this convinced you to maybe give it a try for yourself. These devs seem like they really care about it, and they deserve the support. But, I, regardless, I plan to get back to Deep Rock Galactic content soon, just due to real life events, as many people know, uh, being pulled away from the computer more and more. So. I'm working on content when I can, but uploads might slow down a bit. That being said, I still see growth on the channel every day, and that really makes me happy, just knowing that I'm helping people with my guide content. But I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.